Um, okay, so this is an update on the ESA and this whole loot box controversy. Uh, the ESA has decided to add in-game purchases now uh, to video games. I guess this will be on the label whenever you pick up a game. Um, one quick thing I will say about this uh, is that um, it's a good move. I mean, I know whenever I, I download a game on uh, my iPhone, it usually says if it's in-app purchases. So I think this is something they should have done a long time ago. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's fine if they want to have it. Uh, and I'm glad that they added it just so people know in advance what they're getting into. So I have not, I have really no complaints about that. Uh, Gary, uh, what are your thoughts on them adding this? Yeah. Um, I guess this is a big step in terms of, you know, getting around the, the legal issues that was being raised, uh, surrounding microtransactions and loot boxes and stuff like that. Like you said, this is, this is something that should have already been done. But it just goes to show how much the game publishers were kind of exploiting, you know, the whole microtransaction thing, you know, in um, video games and stuff. Um, but, yeah, I, I guess it's good, you know, it's it's good to raise awareness to, you know, parents who buy their games, you know, without really doing much research and stuff. At least they can see, you know, um, what's being offered in the game and everything. Um, this definitely should have been done before. but. Um, it took that whole controversy last year with EA for this to happen. Um, and I guess this just kind of covers their back from now on, um, you know, moving forward. But it seems like basically every game is going to have that listed on it because even stuff that has access to like DLC is going to be included. Like, so not just loot boxes, but DLC. Like if you if there's a menu where you can buy extra content, it's going to have that listed on on the box so um it seems like a lot of games are going to have this uh the only games that probably won't is cd project games but yeah, yeah. That, that that yeah that, that, that totally makes sense because i know cd project has already said that they are against this practice so um that's good i mean again i, I think it's very clear that it's all laid out for the consumer to see. I know a lot of times there are a lot of people that will pick up a game, not really know anything about it, and then be surprised later. E even in instances where a kid, a parent uh, buys a game for a kid, doesn't even look at the rating, you know, and then the kid plays the game and then later on they discover, oh, it has all this stuff in it. Well, so, you know, if all the information is laid out there in the front, I would like to hope that people will read the label before they actually play it. But then again, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. Cause a lot of people don't read or do their research on a lot of this stuff. So um, we'll see. But again, I'm glad they at least put it out there so that they can make it clear from the very beginning, this does have in, in, in game purchases. So it's good. It's a good move on their part. Um, Dana, what do you think about this particular topic? This is all for legality issues. This is all to save face. This is all to stop the lawsuits and the angry people in the stock market and whoever it was on CNBC screaming and yelling at the top of his lungs. They don't, this is not, you know, I think that it's going to happen the same thing as they did the parental advisory sticker where it's like, okay, and nobody pays attention to it and nobody really cares. And you're going to be some parents out there that's like, I don't care. And then they're going to act surprised when, you know, their bank account is less than what it used to be because their kid Tommy is running around, keep buying, you know, game stuff, a new weapon, a new character, or who knows, a save slot for Metal Gear Survive. But this is just um, something legal. They don't care about the, the customers. They don't care about anything else. This is just to stop the lawsuits. It is something that's long overdue, but here's the thing. People don't pay, pay attention to any labels to begin with. So it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't really do anything to me. But just, you know, you can't be outraged now because there it is. So it, it doesn't do anything. Well, I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say something real quick. And this this goes a little bit off topic, but you, you are a hundred percent right when you say people don't pay attention. Uh I, you know, recently I spoke to a couple of friends. Uh they would tell me that there was a lot of people 
uh, in their neighborhoods at their churches that went to go see Black Panther. Uh, but the thing is, they went to go see Black Panther thinking this was going to be a movie about the actual Black Panther Party and not a superhero. So when they went into the movie, they're like, what the hell is this? And, and you know, go along with the fact that there are a lot of people that went to go see the movie also was in the, the you know, dashiki, so on and so forth. But some of those people didn't even know who the hell the character was. They thought this was supposed to be like a revolutionary Black Panther uh, party movie. Wait, so and, like, did, did those people see the movie poster? No, they, they just said, oh, well, I heard this movie is good, so I'm going to go see it. Uh, so, I, I mean, you're, you're right, people don't do their research, because I, I thought to myself, man, you know, if I'm going to be spending money to, to on, on anything, you know damn well I'm going to do my research, you know. But for people who don't care about money, I guess they just say, well, I don't, it doesn't matter. I heard it's good. You know, I'm just going to go see it. So in the case of this particular situation, um, you are right, Dana. There will be a lot of people who will not even pay attention to any of that stuff. But I'm pretty sure when they find out later that now there is other things that uh, they have to buy, maybe they will complain at that point. But then again, at that point, it's it's on them because the information was laid out there for them to see in the very beginning, and they chose not to see it. So we'll see what happens. Um, and, I, and I have a, like maybe it's a stupid suggestion or a stupid question or stupid whatever. Uh -huh. But would there be a way to lock? yourself from purchasing anything or to for a parent to lock you know that that feature so they can buy anything so then that way you just don't have to worry at all yeah i i, I got a solution for that uh, what's the solution don't put your credit card on the system yeah <laughs> yeah but it's really easy to go and like you know a little time he can dig in his mom's purse and find the card well, well, in in that case, there there is an, there's another solution that they should have. Oh no! Uh, and that is, it's time for that kid to get uh, discipline. You know, <laughs> what, what do you do digging inside my bag? You know, I, I'll, I'll give I'll give you something for that. No, but you know, there was a lot of problems that happened. Like we're little kids, we're playing mobile games, and you know, it would charge the whole thing. Hmm. So if you have a Google account, it automatically charges. My thing is like, can you just block that feature? Because that would solve just a lot of problems right there. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I think what Gary mentioned about you know not having your card information stored, and this also applies to the mobile phones. You have to be aware that if you give your kid your phone to play a game, you, I, I would be. I mean, I, first and foremost, you know, that better be like a, a extra spare phone that you are giving to them. I would not give them my actual phone and knowing I have all my important information on there because, you know, anything could happen. You know, they can they can, you know, let's say you got a call from your your job. They see the number they're like, oh, then they answer the phone. That, I mean, I mean, there's anything that could happen. So you have to be mindful of that stuff. But people who have kids now, obviously, I can't really say any of this because I don't have a kid. I'm just using common sense to say if I had a kid, you best believe that I will not be giving them anything that is important that I have on me that I need, especially a phone. Oh, hell no. Mm -mm. Um, but yeah, the, people have to, they have to think about this stuff ahead of time. You know, with PlayStation, I, I had an issue before when I had PlayStation plus and you know how it does the auto renew thing. Uh, I had to make sure that that was off because you know, I don't want them charging me for PlayStation plus over and over again, especially when I can get it a lot cheaper than it, it is on the actual system. So People just have to be mindful, do their research, and, and and watch out for this stuff. That that's the only thing I could think of. Um, but yeah, th there is a way for you to to not have your card linked to any of this stuff. But outside of that, I don't know what else somebody would do to stop that from happening. But uh, <laughs> any other thoughts on this topic before before we move on to the next one? No, it's too little, too late. <laughs> no, um, my my basic summary is parenting you know solves everything oh it, it, it listen it definitely solves everything and, and that's actually connected to the next topic also 